This is an audio-only recording of an exercise session for Vision of Adventure. This winter our recordings are sponsored by the Vision Foundation. A fitness and body conditioning session led by Paddy Finn. Right, so we will start with a little bit of a warming up, um, especially for those of us who are tweaking our hamstrings. Uh, righty, okay, um, I won't put you on mute just yet, just in case you've, you know, uh, I like to hear you bashing around. And then once we start the set, we'll uh, I will put it on mute. Okay, though, so a bit of jogging on the spot. Off we go. And I'm even going to time it. Mm -hmm. Hey, get excited. Oh, I've got it on 30 seconds. Right. Oh, I've got it. <laughs> Brilliant. I've got you jogging on the spot. It's, I thought it was 30 seconds. It's got it for 30 minutes. That'll keep, that'll keep going. <laughs> But there is a second counter as well, so you have, you have 15 well, seconds in. Anyway. I love the enthusiasm. This is great. The dog's not impressed. He keeps looking at me as I've gone mad. Yeah. Well, K Kath and I went up on Kentmere Horseshoe today in beautiful blue skies. A little bit of snow on the tops. Nice. It was beautiful. Okay. Three and two and one and stop there. Right, let me just change this so it's actually what I want it to be rather than... Okay, so, okay, can you do uh, a few star jumps now? So if you start your star jumps now, please. So you can start easy and then make them progressively more um, energetic. But basically what we're trying to do, we're just trying to get your heart rate up a little bit, get the blood pumping. Get your breathing a little bit. And uh, you don't have, you can do little ones, big ones, just as long as you're moving, that'd be good. So you'd be warming your knees up, warming your shoulders up. Okay. And two and one and stop there. 30 seconds don't half seem like a lot. Hello, what's up with you? Seems like a long time when you're doing one thing. Right. Now, then, somebody said about the bear crawl that that was not good for anybody with glycoma. But we're going to do the crab crawl first. So this is where you uh, start, just sit on the floor with your hands behind you. <coughs> and you are going to take your weight on your feet and your hands, and then you're just going to move around a little bit. So we're trying, this is mainly about warming your shoulders up. So get your backsides off the floor and then shuffle around as if you were a crab. Hence a crab walk. Okay, so Steve, feet, weight on your feet and your hands, unless you throw, no, you haven't frozen, right, and then move around like that. You don't have to go far. You right there, Bruce? There we go, thank you. Jenny, come on, you can move. I want you to move, not just take your weight, that's it. Which What we're trying to do is, this is called a closed exercise, and this is really good for warming up your shoulders and arms. You can swing your arms, but this is better because you've actually got some weight on it. Ignore that. Right. Okay. And stop there. Now, is there anybody who's going to have any issues with doing the bear crawl? Bruce, was it you who said it was? Is it affects glycoma? somebody said right if it's going to if you if it's if it's going to affect you adversely don't do it you can continue doing a bit of uh crab crawling because that'll work you but this is just working a slightly different way so cr uh, bear crawl is you are on your hands and feet but you're um so so okay start off kneeling down with your hands on the floor so you're on your hands and knees, then take your knees off the floor. So you're on your hands and your feet. So you're face that, facing down and then it's just moving around like that. Have a go. You don't go far. Just move side to side, back and forward. Get some weight on your shoulders. So this is really to warm up those arms and shoulders. So also be working for, for the your back of your legs as well. So getting them hamstrings working because we want to work, warm up the glutes and hamstrings as we're doing quite a bit of work on those. 
Okie dokie, and we'll do three and two and one and stop there. Beep, 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 beep. Thank you. Right, so we're going to start our little routine. Our first one is press ups, and we're going to do it for 30 seconds. Um, so you start lying on your front with your hands under your shoulders, and you can do it either. You can do it, you can do uh, press ups on your knee, uh, having your knees on the floor. Or you can press do press ups with your feet on the floor. So you start off lying on the floor flat, and then you decide whether it's you're doing press ups with the knees, press ups with the feet. Uh, but what you want to do is get some weight on over your on your shoulders. Okay, so don't have your knees like at right angles; have them sort of a bit back. Okay, if you're on your knees, otherwise you're on your toes. Three and two and one. Let's go. And try and make them. As you each press up, go down as far as you can. I'd rather you did three and that was all you could do. Three good ones going down low rather than 10 where you're just sort of twiddling your, you know, your height. You're just sort of vibrating your elbows. So go down as far as you can. And if you get three in, that's great. If you get more than three in, fantastic. Okay, your whole body down. Keep your body firm and stop there. Good. Okay, so next one is plank. So plank, you are, you can be in the press-up position. So that is, but what I want you to do is be on your toes and on your hands. So press-up position. So you're facing the floor and your body's stretched out. So flat, long and thin. And you can either be on your hands, which is a little bit easier, or you can be on your elbows. OK, so. If you get yourselves ready, three, two, one, off we go. And we're doing it for 30 seconds. Good for those people I can see. Yeah, good positions. Good position, good hips. Right. Well done, guys. OK, and so you've you're halfway there. Don't forget to breathe. Some people like hold their breath when they're doing this. That's good. They are good. Good, good, good. So you should feel it in your in your around your lower stomach. Three seconds, two seconds, one second and stop. Good. Good quality. I like that. OK. Glute bridge. OK, so glute bridge. You start off lying on your back. Um, if you put your hands by your sides, or you can, you know, they don't have to be right pointing at your toes. They can spread out a little bit. Uh, bend your knees so your feet are flat on the floor and quite near your buttocks, your bum. Right. So you are going to press up with the, um, either two legs and you're going to push your hips up. And you're keeping your shoulders on the floor. So you're hinging almost off your shoulders. OK, so your hips are going. And so you should be able to feel your glutes and you go, yeah, this is it. That's it, Jenny. OK, or you can do a single leg. If, and then let's do double. Let's all do double leg. Then life is easier. OK, so we will do 30 seconds of this. Three and two and one. Let's go. And if you find it easy, if anybody thinks, oh, this is, you say, Paddy, this is really easy. Up and down, Jenny. Don't, just don't hold it. Jenny, down, hips down, and then up again. That's it. Hips down and up again. Keep going up and down. Is your head off the floor or on the floor? Your head's on the floor. Right. And if you poke your glutes as you're yeah. sort of working, you'll go, yeah, they work. You should be able to feel the tension in your glutes. Two seconds, one second, and stop there. Right. And if anybody finds that easy, we can always do single leg glutes, which I will explain next time if you ask for it. OK, Russian twist. Mm. So Russian twist. This is where ideally you'll have a weight. It doesn't have to be a heavy weight. So you are sat on your bum, on your backside. Um, you can uh, bend, bend your knees and you can either have your feet flat on the floor, which is one way of doing it, or if you're... If you've done this before, you can take your feet off the floor, which is harder. So if you're not, you're not used to it, I would start off with feet on the floor. 
Right. The weight. Imagine you are staring at the weight all the time. So your shoulders are going from one side to the other. It's not just moving the weight over. It's actually turning your whole upper body. OK. Does hopefully that makes sense. OK. Three and two and one. Let's go. So we'll do this for 30 seconds. So look at that weight. Move them shoulders round. That's it. Good. Have a good. Yeah. Imagine you're watching it all the way through. Hey, nice one, Steve. I think we've got a couple of people here who are uh, no feet on the floor. Always good. Makes it a bit harder. Ten seconds left. That's all. And now five seconds. Well done. Two and one and stop there. Super. OK. Next. Do back extensions. Now, back extensions, really simple. You're lying on your front. Now, this is you're going to lie on your front, and the, the movement is not that huge. It's just a little movement. Um, but it's nice to do, because we do a lot of core work, it's good to do some uh, back extension work. So it, it keeps things, you know, sort of equal. Okay. Uh, if you place your uh, hands on the back of your thighs, and all you're going to do is raise your sort of um, nose, which you know, if your nose is on the floor, nose mm -hmm. off the floor, and um, sort of your shoulders. It's not a wrench. It's just a gentle movement. And it's up and down. Three, two, one. Yeah. Off again. Right. If you've done this lots and you would like putting your arms out front and out to the side and all that sort of stuff, that's great. But if you're new to it, um, just gently, gently. Um, so we just... Working those back muscles. Because we're going to do this three, well, twice, maybe three times. Okay, with 10 seconds left. So just gentle movements up and down. We don't have to hold it. We don't want to cramp our back. Three, two, one, and stop there. Super duper. Okay. Right, so we've done lots of lying around the floor. Let's get up and we're going to do some squats. So if you've got a weight, that's great. But if you haven't got a weight, you can still do squats. You can do things. They're called air squats. And you can, when you do your squat, it's really important that your hips go backwards. Um, so your hips are going backwards. You're facing front. And you are, so I'm just going to, I'm just muting you as we go along here. Okay. Um, come on. Lost me timer. And um, um, you bend down as far as you like. Ideally, you're going to be sort of 90 degrees. If you can go a bit further, that's great. If you're sort of just above 90 degrees and that's where you want, as far as you want to go, that's cool as well. OK, so if you've got the weight, if you hold the weight sort of in your chest, so at chest height, so it's uh, so uh, uh, rather than have it dangling around. OK, so remember, it's hips back as if you're going to sit on the toilet and then and bend down. OK. Three, two, one, off we go. If you have to shuffle your feet because it doesn't feel comfortable straight off, that's, that's okay. Right, so uh, it's interesting here. Some people are going up and down quite quickly. Others are going slow. It's all going to work. It's all going to work. The slower and more controlled is actually going to probably develop more strength. Good. Okay, make sure those hips are going back. Beautiful. Three seconds. Two seconds, one second, and stop. Okay, good. All right, so while you've got your weights, we've got bicep curls next. So bicep curls. Okay, we're doing uh, two at a time. We're starting with our hands uh, near our hips. We bend at the elbow, bring the weight right up to our shoulders. Uh, our, and we're trying to keep our elbows into our into our ribs. Don't have to lock them in, but keep them close. We don't want a big swing in action. OK, three and two and one. Off we go. Looking good. Looking good so far. OK, good. And that is halfway. Easy peasy. Some of you are thinking I'm going to have to get heavy weights because this is so easy. And four seconds left. 
three and two and one and stop there wow good right you may want to keep your weights or you may not we're going to do lunges now what i think what we're going to do is we'll do 20 seconds each leg so you're going to step forward and then you're going to sort of go down as if you were sort of kneeling on one leg uh you're keeping your upper body like you're from your waist up is is upright you're not sort of leaning forward with that your your body uh and the important thing is that you're going right you don't go that far forward but it's about going down now it might it's always worth having a little bit of a play to see if this works you go down as far as you're comfortable if you get to the floor great if you can't if you can't get to the floor that doesn't matter okay but you want to be feeling a bit of that weight and we're going to do 20 seconds on each leg so you can step out and if that's a comfortable position just go up and down in that one position or if you prefer you can step do the uh do the lunge bend your knee come back up again and then um step right back up to you three two one off you go whatever you're comfortable with some people like doing static some people don't so it's nice controlled so feel you should be able to feel that front you may feel a bit of like oh my little back leg's working but that's just keeping you balanced um but try and make sure that the you're getting the weight is on that pushing upon that uh, front leg and three and two and one and stop there cool uh, best watch uh, switch legs haven't we i lied that was 30 seconds not 20 but never mind okay are we ready three it's the other leg three and two and one there we go so i love i love the fact that you've uh you interpret you do what's good for you right. so i think uh i think the slow ones are harder But if you've got some weight, then that's working as well. And three and two and one and stop there. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. My favorite. Right. This is. We've done both legs. Yes, we have done both legs. This is tricep extension. So Sue and I had a long debate on this one, but this is what we think. And if, if you don't understand it, wave at me and I'll I'll blame Sue. <laughs> OK, so. Uh, you want a weight if you have your weight in your right hand. And you step forward with your left leg. If you've got it the other way around, it doesn't matter. I don't mind. Um, and then, so put your left forearm on your left knee or close to your left knee. So you're leaning forward. Then the right arm, which has got the weight in it. If you start with it in line with your, uh, so keep your arm in line with your body so it's sort of your hands down by your hip your thigh your right thigh then you're going to bend the weight bend your arm to a right angle and then straighten it out so you're you're sort of lifting the lifting the weight backwards yes okay we all right with that see is that about right yep okay let's have a go uh we're going to do 30 seconds <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. All right, Katie, I can see, I can't see you moving arm, I can see your other arm. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, and bend the elbow, bend, bend your elbow. So rather than swing the shoulder, it's bending the elbow. So that's it, right, down and straight back up. You need a heavier weight okay and stop there <laughs> so the only thing i'd say kate if you if you think of your upper arm is keeping in close to your body 
So it's not your shoulder. It's it's the bend is from your elbow. So it's a bit like if you imagine if you were stood up, it'd be like picking up a mug of tea. OK, let's try the other arm. Hello. What's happening there? This watch is this clock. This uh, phone is magic. It, the timer just does it all its own thing. OK, are we ready? Three and two and one. Let's go. Uh, right, Katie, get, get your elbow into your ribs and then bend your, bend at the elbow, not at the shoulder. So now bring that right uh, that forward and then stretch it out at the back. So your arms now straight. That's it. And bend and stretch out to the back. Yeah. And bend and out to the back. And then hopefully that's you working your triceps, which are on the back of your upper arm. OK, and stop there, guys. Yeah, that was better. Katie, that was definitely better. Right. OK. And the other, this is the lovely one, single leg deadlift. All right. OK. So you are going to be, so the images are um, a seesaw. OK. And your hips in the middle of this seesaw. And your, so the head is one end and your fit and your foot is the other. So you're going to be stand on on one leg. And imagine then you're going to lie on a table. But you've got one leg on the floor. Somebody call it about a nodding bird. Right, Jenny, that's good. OK, Steve, if you've got something to hang, if you've got something to hang on to, that make life a lot easier. OK, so if you've not done this before, you may want something to hang on to. So it's you're going to do it on one leg. OK. Let me just get a fair. OK, three and two and one. Off we go. OK, so your your weight is on one leg and your other leg should be swinging behind you. So if you like to counterbalance as you lean over and it's a backwards and forwards movement. Keep moving, Jenny. That, that right. OK, so that's better, Katie. You're, you just need to go a little bit further down. Two and one and stop there. OK, we're going to do the other leg now. OK, so it's a movement. OK, are we ready? Three and two and one. Off we go. Right, Bruce has got it. Right, good. That's Kate. That's it. Katie, you've got it. Good. Steve, yes, yeah, looking good. Jenny's looking good. OK, if you are using something for support, try and balance yourself as much as possible so the leg's working. Good. Well then, guys. So it worked. You've got five seconds. Two and one and stop. Boop. Right. There we go. Time, right. One set done. Right. We'll definitely get another set done. Right. Well done. OK. Little pause, little drink. So you haven't changed your clock. Oh, no, you have. Oh, that's the second hand. It's all right. I'm watching the clock in your background. It, I thought it I thought it said, I thought it said quarter to six. I was going to say there's something wrong here, kid. But no, that was your second hand. Uh, so that's just me being nosy. Right. OK, are we ready for our second round? Oh, hang on. Jenny's disappeared. Oh, she's just got a glass of wine. That's what it is. OK. All right, right. So we're going to start off. We're going to start with press ups. I'm good to see you've all got drinks. Well, those of you I can see. All right. Three and two. Oh, I'm, come on, Sue. Sue, come on, get rid of it. Oh, Sue, that camera is weird. It follows you. It's as if you've got a cameraman. Spooky. Right. OK. Three and two and one. Let's go. So it's press ups. So you will need to be on a straight line either between your knees 
and your shoulders or your toes and your shoulders. So not only are you working your arms, you're working your core and your glutes. Everything's tightened up. You've got another 10 seconds. Two, one, and stop there. Okay, little breather. Because then we're on to planks straight away. Because we're tough. Right, um, I think we'll go for 45 seconds because that 30 second plank, you look like you were just, it was easy. It was a breeze. And the thing is, I'll tell you when 30 seconds is up. And if you've had enough by then, you can always have a rest. But for those of you who want to challenge yourself a little bit. Okay, plank. So you're either on your hands and your toes and you're in a straight line from shoulder through to your toes, to your ankles, sorry. Or you're on your forearms and you're still straight line from shoulders through to ankles. Three and two and one. Let's go. Beautiful. Looking good. Oh. Right. So we just got to. Oh, there we go. And we have done. 15 seconds already. You'll be careful with these long ones. Though. I start singing, which is not very pleasant. Apparently, I keep being told. OK, there's only oh, that's 30 seconds. So you've got 15 seconds left. So those of you who want to. Have a rest you can do and otherwise five seconds two one bing there we go beautiful right okie dokie so this is our our glute bridge so this is where we're on that we're lying on our back <sighs> oh i'm all going all oh, me caught cool. oh i shouldn't have had me dinner uh right glute bridge and we're lying on our back and our feet are uh, knees are bent feet are flat on the floor close to our uh, backside um, and we're going to push up our hips up and we're gonna the points of contact when we extend when we push up are our shoulders our heads on the floor and our arms can be on the floor and our feet are on the floor but everything else is up and in the straight line okay three and two and one, let's go. And up and down. Don't have to hold it. It's a it keep moving it, keep moving it. We're exit, we're not trying to just hold the glitch. It's not like plank where we're holding one position. Up and down, up and down, up and down. And I'm gonna be very generous. I'm gonna give you 45 seconds. <laughs> Fifteen seconds to go. Good. Well done. So you've upset your camera. It won't go as far. I can't see anything. Three, two, one, and stop there. Hey, well done. Okie dokie. Russian twists. Uh, okay, from your <laughs> from your reaction to that, I'll just give you a bit of a breather because. People weren't going anywhere for a few seconds there. Okay, so Russian twists. So you want your a weight if you've got one. If you haven't, if you've got, you can like just put your hands together if you like. Um, or you can get a, grab a book, don't mind, water bottle, something in your hand. Something in your hand that you can move from one side to the other and you can make your shoulders follow it. So imagine you're staring at whatever it is. Um uh and so it's you're going right and the weight doesn't go from just from side to side it goes right onto the floor okay um i'm going to give you a 30 second count and a 45 second count so for those of you want to uh, those of you want to do a bit more you can no no <sighs> yeah i'll do that okay 45 i'll give you a 30 and a 45 okay three two one off we go this I find really hard. Okay. Good. Great movements. Good. All those, sh I can see, right, I can see shoulders going through 90 degrees. Fantastic. Right, this should be, this will be working your core and your obliques and your obliques are the muscles on the sort of, sort of above, between your hips and your ribs. 
Uh, and you've had, and that's 30 seconds. If you're feeling good still, you carry on. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Bing. Beautiful. Well then, guys. Right. No, no, right. Nice, easy back extension. So back extensions are sort of, it's a, we've been working quite hard. So we have a little back extension just to counterbalance all that core work we've been doing before we get up on our feet. Okay. So quick reminder. Uh, up to you. If you're, if you just want to be steady on this one, it's hands on your thigh, back of your thighs, uh, and it's just a gentle movement up and down, lifting your just the your sort of head and your your nose and your your chest off the floor. If you're you've done this loads of times, you can put your hands out the front, the hands out the side, grab a weight, you know, lift your feet as well. But you make that choice, um, and we will go for thirty seconds. So let me just take that down. Okay. Three and two and one. Let's go. Ah, oh, you guys are good. You guys are good. I'm jealous of your flexibility for some, some of you. I can't do that. I can get me chin off the floor just. Mind you, I find with my beer belly, it's really good. I sort of, it's, I can rock backwards and forwards. I'm like a weevil. A weevil. Weevil, well, I don't know what they call it. Three seconds. We're nearly done. And done. Way Cool. So that's our little bit of uh, difference. So it's now squat. So we're on our feet. And please. Okay, squat. So feet comfortably apart. They, if the toes do not have to be facing forward, they can be facing, you know, put them slightly out. Whichever's comfortable for you. Sometimes it's worth just having a little play um, to with before you start the session, the, the, the set. It's just like, right, army feet in the play. I have a little shuffle. Get my feet in the right place. Army knees going over my toes. Yes, actually, am I comfortable? Yeah. OK, we're going to go 45 seconds because you're tough. OK, three and two and one. Let's go. OK. So whatever you're doing, make sure the hips are going back. Imagine, like I say, imagine you're going to sit on the loo or sit on the sofa. Your, your hips are going back. Face is pointing forward. OK, good. So that is 20 seconds left. Of your 45. So that is 15 seconds left. So you've done 30. Good. Go down as far as you're comfortable. You may feel that you've got a bit more move flexibility now. Now you've been moving again. Two and one and stop there. Cool. Good. Bicep curl. I think we'll do 45 seconds of this because you, you, I don't think any of you got huge weights. But I'll call the 30 seconds in case you are like going, my tendons are hurting. I don't know how heavy your weights are or how strong your arms are. Okay. Um, oh, can you just give me a thumbs up? Yes or no, uh, Katie? Is that, um, have you got uh, just one weight? Have you got, a, oh, you got one in each hand? Right, okay. So, ah, right, okay. So, I, I you had them in both in one hand. Right, that's all right. We'll go 45 seconds. Cool. Are we ready? Three and two and one. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see what's happening here. So, okay, you've just worked in one hand. So, what I will do, I will. So, when I say thirty seconds has gone, okay, yeah, I want to just switch hands, please, and use the other hand. Okay. So that is thirty seconds gone now. Oh, you've got two weights. Oh, magic! How did you do that? <laughs> this is this is like a magic show. <laughs> one minute she's got one, the next minute she's got two. Okay, three and two and one and stop. She's just trying to make me a fool. Make me look like a fool, which is very easy. Right. Um, by, uh, blah, blah, blah. That was bicep curl. So we're on lunges. Uh, lunges, we will be definitely 30 seconds. 
So they can be, like I say, static lunges where you don't step forward, but you just go up and down. Uh, or you can do a step each time. Uh, we don't want knees going over toes. So it's the focus is on more as we step forward and we go down rather than trying to lean forward. We're not trying to reach far forward. If you need to hang on to something, you hang on to something. OK, 30 seconds. Choose a leg. Three and two and one. Off we go. Good. Eh? Good. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, and stop. Okay. Um, if you were doing one leg, we're switching over. Uh, if you were doing two legs, you're going to do same thing again. Um, Jenny, the only thing I would suggest is, you know, that work surface there. You could use that work surface and then use it as a balance and then go a bit lower. So if you do sideways on to your, because then you, you might, Feel a bit comfortable going down. Yeah, I'd like you to go down, right? You're pushing your knee over your toes. So what I'd like you to do is step forward a bit more and go down with that back knee. So that back knee bends and goes towards the floor. Hello. Bend that back knee for me. There we go. Okay, three and two and one. Off we go. There we go. That's it. That's the better, Jenny. Yeah, good. Good old Catholic genuflections. We love them. And we've got 10 seconds left. Three and two and one and stop Mary. Ooh, time up below. Cool. Right. Let's come back. Right. So we've done both legs. So it's now tricep extension. So this is where step forward. I'm going to use my left leg as an example. Step forward with your left leg. Rest your left forearm on your just above your left knee. So you're leaning sort of at about 45 degrees leaning forward. You've got the weight in your right hand. And if the weight starts, if you start with your arm by your side, so the weight is somewhere near your hip, and you're going to keep that elbow close into your ribs, and you're going to bend that arm so it sort of hangs down, and then you're going to straighten it. And that should use the triceps, which are the muscles on the back of your upper arm. Okay, three and two and one. Let's go. Oh, yeah, got it. Oh. Okay, so keep that movement going. That's much better, Katie. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think you have to get some heavier weights, kid. But it's a start. It's a start. we got two seconds. One second. And stop there. Okay, swap arms. OK, so same thing again. Keeping that uh, start with that arm on your hip, keeping that elbow into the ribs. OK, three and two and one. Off we go. Good. Ten seconds left. And um, five, two, one, and stop there. Okay, right. That's both arms done. So now we have single leg deadlift. <laughs> Let me start again. Single leg deadlift. So this is where your hips are in the middle of the seesaw. Your 
one leg's on the floor, the other leg is extended and it's going to go come off the floor, come into the air up to about 90 degrees and your body's going to go forward. So this works your hamstrings on the leg that's on the floor. The swinging leg doesn't do a lot, but we try and keep it straight and we keep it controlled. OK, we'll do 30 seconds. Three and two and one. Off we go. So it's cool if you need something to balance. Lots of people. Yeah, in fact, I think you all got something to balance on. That's good. Keep it controlled. Good. OK, see if you can, yeah, make sure you're getting that foot up to about 90 degrees. And that's about five seconds left. Two, one, bing. OK, let's swap. OK, are we ready? Three and two and one. Let's go. Good. What I can see is looking good. Good. Five seconds left. Two, one, and stop there. Way beautiful. Okay, good. Right. So we could have. I've got the time, if you want it. We could do another one, another little circuit. Um, I'm thinking, but shorter, because it's we've got 15 minutes, basically, and I'd like to do some stretches. Well, we're going to do some stretches anyway. Um, but I know, you know, things like you need to have your dinner and all that sort of stuff. Um, so by um, a little... <laughs> a little wave, a thumbs up is yes, Happy to do a third circuit, but short. Yeah, 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 yeah. You happy, Katie? You don't have to do it. It's all right. You can really. <laughs> so if you're happy to do a short circuit, and I'm, I'm sort of thinking sort of 15, 20 seconds of each exercise, so we just flash through them and uh, and that will then we'll do some stretches. OK. I'm taking that as a yes. Right. OK, let me adjust my time up. But we'll go for we'll go for 20 seconds. And then we'll do because you know what you're doing and you've all got it off pretty pat now. Um, we'll we'll just fly through it. So first one, press ups. OK, three and two and one. Let's go. Well done. Five seconds to go. Two, one, and stop there. Right. Okay. Get yourself ready for plank. Dum -ba -dum. Three and two and one. Okay. 20 seconds of plank. Do, 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 do. Five. Two seconds left and stop there. Cool. Right. OK. Um, glute bridge. So lying on your back. The in. This is almost a cardio workout. OK. 20 seconds. Three and two and one. Let's go. Yeah, we'll get this. We'll get this done. 10 seconds. Oh, must detect movement. Two and one and stop there. OK, so glute bridge, uh, Russian twists. So grab your weight. Right. 
All right. Feet flat on the floor unless you're having unless you're going to have them in the air. Up to you. Right. So keep an eye on that weight right down to the floor with the weight each time. Three, two, one. Let's go. That's 10 seconds gone. Good. Fantastic. Well done, guys. Three, two, one. And that's stop there. OK, back extensions. So weight to the side. For now, back extensions, lie on your front. Nose on the floor. Dee, 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 dee. Three and two and one. Off you go. It's 10 seconds gone. Five to go. Three and two and one and stop there. Boom. Okay. Uh, let's get off the floor. We're doing squats. Then grab your weight. Get yourself ready. Get your feet in position. Have a little shuffle, have a little practice if you fancy it. We're only doing 20 seconds, so that's easy peasy. Okay, controlled though. Keep it controlled, keep it good quality. Three and two and one, off we go. Good. Good. Facing forward. Control. Love it. Love it. Love it. Steve, that's brilliant. Do, 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 do. Good. Good balance. Two, one, and stop there. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Well done. Really nicely balanced, you guys. Uh, bicep curl. Okay, are we ready? Three, and two, and one. Off we go. Looking good, looking good. Yep. I wish I could uh, control your cameras from here. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, and stop. Okay, so that's bicep curl. All right, lunges. Okay, we're only doing 20 seconds with or without a weight. Static or moving. Don't mind. Get yourself ready. Three and two and one. Off we go. Quality. We don't have to rush them just because we're in 20 seconds. I'd rather you do, you know, a few good ones. Good. Good. We like. We like this a lot. Five seconds. All right, I like this a lot. Two and one and stop there. Cool. Uh, so we're going to switch legs. OK, and three and two and one. Let's go. It's all right if you have a little bit of a wobble. If, in fact, if you're wobbling, that means your stabilizing muscles are actually working quite hard just to keep you in the right, you know, stop you falling over. Five seconds left. Two seconds, one second and stop there. Lunge. Wow. Tricep extension. We're on. So that funny one where we step forward with the left leg. Put our left forearm on our left knee. Right arm is alongside our, through our ribs and our hand is near our hip. And we're going to bend at the elbow and then extend that arm out. 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Yep. Good. Good, good, good. Right, should be able to feel those muscles working. Looks good. From what I can see, it's looking good. Two and one and stop. Okay, let's switch. Well done, guys. Are we ready? Three and two and one. Let's go. Good. 10 seconds. Five. 
one and stop okay we are now on single leg deadlift so this is our seesaw lying on lying on your table frontwards or whatever you need to do okay if you are using something to just keep your balance um play with like just touching it lightly rather than having a, a, a real firm grip so that you're you know you are you're working the the leg that we're working okay so i mean obviously if you feel like you're going to fall over then grab it <laughs> obviously obviously okay my uh okay three and two and one let's go oh this is gonna be brilliant timing well then guys you're doing a grand job okay so as far forward like see if you can get horizontal with your with your upper body and then that leg is swinging out the back two one and stop there last one we three and we are sorry i'll turn around i'll let you shuffle right we all good three and two and one off we go good let's control it control 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 three and two and one and bing you've done it well done okay you can unmute yourselves now i'll um pr I'll, I'll request that you unmute and we'll do some stretches and then you can we can chat well, hey right according to this i've asked you all to unmute Oh. Ah, right, I've got a couple. Okay. Right. Are we all we all good? Oh Jenny. Do, 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 do. Ah. Liz, oh, there we go. Right, we're all good. We're all good. We're all good. We're all good. Uh, okay. Um, right. Okay. So we're going to do some stretches. Oh, keep them simple. Right. Take your jumper off. <laughs> I'll do them along with you because I find that is that's the easiest way to explain them. The fire's warm at last. All righty. So we're going to start off with uh, fingers interlocked uh, in front of us, palms facing up, and then we turn our hands so that our palms are facing the floor, still interlocked, and then we pull our arms up over our head, and we oh good heavens, and we push our hands back as far as we can, keeping our arms straight. And if only if you want to, you can sort of. Push your hips a little bit forward and have a little stretch of the back, if you wish. Crikey, me jikey. That's tight. Okay. And bring them forward and relax and shake them out. Okay. So next, we um, put our hands behind us and we just uh, interlock our fingers as before. So our palms are facing up. Then we turn our hands so they're facing away from us. Our palms are facing away from us. So facing the wall behind. And then try and lift your hands up as high as you can. But keeping the arms straight. Okay. So then you should feel some, a little bit of something there. In your, I can feel it in my shoulders. Some of you are far more flexible than I am. <laughs> I can't get anywhere near that. But anyway, it's I can feel the... Um, I can feel the stretch. Three and two and one and relax. Shake them out. Right. OK, so next, take your right hand and point it straight up at the ceiling. And bend at the elbow. That's the one I want to do. I'll do that one. So it's bend at the elbow. So you're patting it. So your hands up by. So your bicep is by your ear. Then you bend your hand. So your hand is behind your head. 
and then you take hold of the uh, elbow with the opposite hand and then just pull it gently down so you're sort of patting yourself on the back and you can congratulate yourself on doing a good session all right i'm good well then three and two and one okay and then slowly unravel that arm and give it a shake yeah? so you're going to do the same with the other arm so the hand goes straight up into the air bends at the elbow so it can you can pat yourself on the back take hold of the elbow with your the other hand and just gently don't wrench it just gently sort of pull so you can and if your triceps have been working you'll be able to feel it on the back of the upper arm three and two and relax and stretch that arm out and shake it out okay so go back to the uh, uh, the other hand of that arm put your hand behind you so your thumb is sort of in, in your spine at the base of your and the base of your spine and then run that thumb up your back so as far as you can and it should reach your elbow your um shoulder blade some of you will be able to do that thing where you have one hand goes up your back and the other hand comes over the top and they can touch together and all that stuff because you're super flexible unlike me so i can't do that um but have a little bit of a stretch there three two one okay and relax that one shake it out opposite hand thumb at the base of the spine runs up your back and if you need to like me you push have to push that hand up a bit so it can reach the shoulder blade because there's a bit of tightness there for me oh that's good though i can feel the stretch three and and relax up one down shake it down okay we're going to do the uh, reaching to the ceiling again so we go reach up to the ceiling okay with um one arm the opposite hand takes hold of your wrist or your forearm and really stretches that arm up and then you lean away from that hip so in my case it's my right hand is up and i'm pushing my now pushing my right hip out bending towards the <laughs> and if you can't feel it that down your side down your latissimus dorsi and over your hip you're a better man than me gunga din three and two and one oh and relax shake it out opposite arm goes up into the air the hand the opposite hand takes hold and stretches that arm up before we start to pull it over and in my case i'm pulling over to the right and my hip is going over to the left oh heavens three oh. and relax oh, i'm glad somebody's got the good grace to actually go and blow and say this is that all right uh you might need to get something to balance here because we're going to do our um uh quad stretch uh, quad, which is front of our legs uh, so you're going to stand on one leg take hold of a foot and use something to balance with the other hand so i'm on me standing on my right foot so i've got something on my right hand side and then we're going to pull i'm pulling my left heel into my my gluteus maximus into my buttocks into my hands and I've done a lot on my legs today so i can feel that um if it isn't if you can't feel it so much you can always push your hips forward a little bit you've been doing some squats and things so that's all and lunges so that will help three and two and one and shake that one out so then we're going to swap over take hold of that glue that uh, foot Pull the heel into the back side. Ooh, 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 ooh. Three and two. Okay, and relax. Shake it out. Right, last little one. We're going to do. Okay, so you're just going to roll down very nice and gently, sort of chin to chest, then roll your roll down 
So you're hanging your hands towards your feet and stretching the backs of your legs. And it's not a strain, it's just a hang. And then just see how far you can hang. Okay, your hamstrings, dance your back. Three and two and one, and then roll gently back up. No sudden movements. Shoulders back. Deep breath in. There we go. Good, eh? Thanks, well, Thank you. Yes, Paddy.